Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm gonna be bringing you along for the day. It's like 1 p.m. but my day is kind of starting right now. I'm gonna head out to NYC Inc. where I got my piercing done as you guys can tell. It's literally infected and I'm really trying to clean it literally three to four times a day. I don't know what else to do. I know a lot of you guys have been leaving me great recommendations but I really think that it's because I might be allergic to gold so it never really went down because the, the piercing that I had before this one was um, that silver material. Not It's not really silver, but um, I forgot the name of it. I'll put it right here if I forget. What? No, no. Anyways, um, I'm going to go switch that out. I'm going to talk to him to see what he says. If this really isn't for me, then I might just take it off and Photoshop on piercings on my nose because I don't want to deal with this kind of bleeding every day, cleaning it five times a day. I can't. The bedroom's a bit of a mess, um, you guys, but I just wanted to share my outfit. I have my ungrateful crop top. I feel like I keep wearing this outfit over and over because it's just so comfortable. My Target um, joggers. And I'm going to wear my little Puma sneakers right now. And I'm going to head out to um, the piercer. So, let's go. I'm okay. All right, hi guys. I didn't really have time to film what happened. I literally just took a cab, went to NYC Yang, and came right back. So the keyload, as you guys can see, is pretty much gone. He literally cut it off. <laughs> I was like, uh, and I couldn't vlog it because I was shaking from the pain. Like I was literally like, and there's no way I was gonna be able to vlog it. So he just cut it off, and he ended up putting a stud. As you guys can see, it's still bleeding. It was bleeding a lot actually, and he had me put a little paper towel on it not a paper towel but one of those little band-aid thingies on it for like five minutes and now i'm home i went to walgreens to get some stuff that i needed but i just wanted to catch up with you guys i literally just came up the stairs and i wanted to it before i forgot um so pretty much all i have to do is clean it based on what he's what he said but that's what i've been doing this entire time so i'm gonna pick up a um a few things that I found from this YouTuber, I forgot her name, I'll find it right here, put it right here. She did a, a video about how she governed her keloids. So she said she put toothpaste in the morning um, and night before she went to sleep on her keloid. And then the next day she cleaned it with um, tea tree oil and uh, sea salt water, I think, and water. So she was using that to clean it. I'm going to be doing that for the next two weeks. I just wanted to share with you guys the way my nose looks. It's kind of bloody right now because I need to clean it, but... Let me also show you what I got from Walgreens. Anyways, so I went to pick up some things that I needed. Mostly I needed this so that so that I can do my hair. So trust in my heat tamer. Um, and then Manolo needs some shampoo. So we have this one. Never tried it, but I'm excited to try it. We need some hand wash soap. Got this Simply Hand Wash from Raw Sugar for sensitive skin. Me. I'm a cancer, so everything's sensitive. Got some Doritos. I got some vitamin E oil because I like to put that on my skin at night when I sleep. It's like a good night thing or as a moisturizer all the time. But I'm also going to put it on my feet because it's really dry. So this pretty much cures it all. Now I also got some little... Hey, why did you put it in the thing? Um, I got this little thing to wash my feet properly. This smoothie buttercream from Soap and Glory, which I really like to moisturize my body. Uh, they had sent it to me and I had a whole bunch and I completely finished it. So I got a new one for myself. I got this no slip grip so that I can pick up my hair in this heat and when I shower. <sighs> my new favorite body wash is the Venus Stress Relief Body Wash um, that comes and relaxes. It's in lavender. Some Listerine. And then these two Coronas are refrescas. This one's guava lime and this was passion fruit lime. Got them from the fridge so that I can drink it up right now. I just tried cleaning it, y'all. I'm wet and sweaty and... All right, I just tried to clean it. I put some little toothpaste because it's still bleeding and I'm trying to make the bleed bleeding stop. I had some tea tree oil, cleaned it with all that. Now it just has the toothpaste. I'm gonna go chill with some Corona Refresca Guava Lime, a little bag of Doritos, and chill. Good morning, guys. I am on my way to the chiropractor for the first time. Um, I've always had, like I told you in a previous video, I've always had issues with my sciatica. And um, you go first because you're going to be in the end of the video. I think I've told you guys before, but I've had issues with my sciatica ever since I was like seven or eight years old. And then when I went with my girlfriend to go get her hips realigned, 
Did you get the paper? No. When I went with my girlfriend to get her hips realigned, um, I asked him if like my sciatic issues would be something that he can take care of. He said yes, and that I can uh, get it fixed for free, free consultation. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna go there for the first time. Sorry, I'm like, we're literally running out right now. So we'll see you guys in a bit. I'll try and film it if we can. So lift this up and then we're gonna set the table for you. And then the table is gonna move down a little bit as I do an adjustment down okay. here. The table's gonna kind of do like this, watch. Huh? Sort of just like that, okay? That's what's supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, gonna do that a few times. And you're gonna be better. How awesome is that? I'm excited. Okay with that pressure, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to adjust your lumbar number five, and then you'll be all set for today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the hot spot. I'll do that just one more time, okay? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, rise up. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much, doctor. Okay, so as you guys can see, I just left the chiropractor and uh, my girlfriend and I decided to come here to the park and have some breakfast. I got some empanadas. Um, but let's talk about my back because turns out my back gets pretty fucked up. <laughs> I've fallen down the steps a few times when I was a little kid and my sciatic issue started when I was like seven years old. And I remember now that I'm digging into my brain that I have fallen a few times when I was little. Um, so he's saying that that might be one of the reasons why I have sciatic issues because according to something, my C5 or my T5 is like out of align, alignment. So he needs to like push that into place little by little and it cracked and it seemed more scarier than it, than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting it to be like a big crack in the back and it wasn't like that. So that was nice and comfortable and soothing. So we have to come see him again next week and I'll show you guys. Um, what happens because I feel like but I and by the way I don't feel the pain that I was feeling as much my muscles are still sore but it's not as bad also are those people having sex in the park no. oh I thought I caught people having sex in the park I was gonna be like scandal but never mind you. now I'm gonna go have some breakfast she got a tuna sandwich let's show you how is it really good yeah and then let me show you my little empanaditas. I got three empanadas. I'm so excited. Oh, and then, you know what's really good, San Pellegrino? Oh, this one's not that great. <laughs> but I do like the other ones, the pomegranate ones. Have we tried those before? Yeah. Guys, we're gonna relax right now. I listen to the birds chirp and have my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I have makeup, hair, dress on. I'm feeling like myself today. It's been a while since it felt like this. I feel like a lot of us have been lingering with everything that's going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and how we can help. And I know that everyone on my channel is so excited to take action. So just a quick reminder, all the petitions that need to be signed, all the places that need donations will be linked down below. But I just wanted to say hi and um, do a vlog for the day. Um, this morning I made some mango. I literally forgot to um, show it to you guys because it was kind of like, wake up, let's get the day started because I had a 10 a.m. Um, meeting with my therapist or my counselor, I should say, from BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an app that does online counseling. I've been told by friends to try it out. And I was like, you know what? It's time for me to try it out. And I did. Um, I started having a few panic attacks. Uh, I had three so far this year. Um, and I was like, you know what? It's time to actually get help. So I had to do that at 10 a.m. And then um, I got ready, did my makeup, showered, did my hair, and now I'm ready to go. I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys what I got in my ASOS purchase. I did a huge ASOS. I did a huge ASOS purchase, so I wanted to show you guys. Let's open it up and try it on because I think a lot of things I got were mostly accessories. So let's see. Okay, I have my iced coffee that my girlfriend did me. Thank you very much. She's in the background. But I did you. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a children's channel. Make a spray, babe. That's what you said, that my girlfriend did me. Me? Uh, did I? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the ASOS haul. Get into it. Get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I actually didn't even remember what I got from Mesa's. This was a long time ago, and I've just let I've just been letting it be in my closet. Um, I do know that I got a lot of bags, a lot of bags. So I'm excited to show you guys to show you guys those first. All right, first bag. I think I know which one this one is. I have a lot of small bags, and I realized that yeah, small bags are fun and cute and everything, but I also need bags for like a casual day when I'm running errands. And I want to, you know, kind of have a sporty look. Since y'all know I be wearing my Fabletics looks all the time. I wanted that nice little bag that would match it. And even though I just want to do like a casual look. A sporty look. Or how people call it, an urban look. Um, I needed a more casual bag. And I got this one from ASOS. This is obviously because it's an ASOS haul. But it's just, okay, it seems cuter online. What do you think? This is what it looks like online. And look at it, take your time. And this is what it looks like in person. I thought it was gonna be way cuter. I'm like, not in love with it. It looks so cheap. It's like one of those early 2000s vibes. Yeah, and like not in a good way because I know that's coming back. But I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about this one. This one, I just look like a divorced mom of five and I'm stressed out. Like, you look like you're supposed to drop that bag off at the Goodwill. Right, like, and not even the good Goodwill. You know, it's like the bad Goodwill. We know. Like, a little Gen Z is not gonna, they're not gonna pick it up. Yeah. They're not gonna pick this, up this stuff. is not, this is not, I'm not in love with this. This is the one that I was mostly excited about. First bag, not doing great, guys. Not starting great. All right, okay. Here's another one. So this one is the black bag. Again, going for that kind of shape. Um, saggy bag shape. I forgot what these are called. These are like what, saddle bags or no? All right, so this is kind of cute. I like this one a lot more. It has that fake um, crocodile skin. And uh, this is a brushka bag. And then it has like a really long strap, which I actually like. I actually think I'm going to keep this one because that's not that long. It's long enough that I can just wear like this. I kind of wanted it to go around me because, you know, I was built like a potato. I don't really have shoulders. I can go down the thing one more hole, but extend it a little bit more. But that's about it. Not a bad bag, not bad at all. I actually kind of like this one. So far, decent. I have my little pink one uh, from Aces that I wear a lot. And this kind of reminds me of it, but in a different style. And I'm gonna stay, keep, keep this one, cause this is good. Like if I just wanna wear jeans, a t-shirt, some booties, you add the little bag, 90s, 2000 style, but in a really cute way. This big was the other one that I was very excited to try on. Or just the impression, I should say. Um, again, it has that like type of style. It's tan. Let me bring it out. So far, the first one is the only one I didn't like. This one I like a lot. This one looks like a bag my sister had back in the 90s when she used to go to high school. She'd be like, she, she looked like a woman when she was in high school. She had high heels. Um, brown lip liner, no lipstick on the inside. She was very chongalicious, but very stylish and very professional to me. Um, it's very cute. It's a very cute bag. I really enjoy this one. This one is from Mango, by the way. Um, via ASOS. So, I like the, the second black one and this one a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I think that's it. Nope, I have one more bag. And then the rest are clothes, which I will try on for you guys. All right, so obviously I went crazy with the shapes, with this kind of style bag. But lime green is one of my favorite colors. And it's a cute little handbag, look you guys. Fake crocodile skin. This one is from Who What Wear. 
who but where on the ASOS? I didn't even notice. Wow. But this is it. This is the bag. It's really cute. And it says that it was $70. I can't recall how much I paid for it. Everything is linked down below if you guys are interested. If you guys want to shop it, of course, this will be linked down below so you guys can purchase the bag as well. And everything else that I got. All right, cool. The rest, thing, the rest of the things are actual clothes. I don't remember what I got, actually. So let's try it on. All right, guys. I have the first dress on. And um, this actually fits like a shirt. Why Why does it feel like this? It's very disappointing. This is the size that I'm wearing. This is how much it costs. Um, and I am not happy with it. It literally is very uncomfortable. There's no way that I would be able to bend over and not show my throat down through of my vagina. It's, it's extremely short, extremely tight. Definitely skipping this one. I was trying to dress up every look that I was wearing so that you guys can see how I would wear it, but I'm not even gonna bother with this one because I look like this. All right, so the next item I am showing you from my ASOS haul is this black top, which has some fake little buttons here, and it has a little draping under the bust. I had to take off the bra that I had on previously because you can see it. I definitely need something that's a deep plunge bra for this one. Um, and I just styled it with the first jeans that I saw, just casual, comfortable jeans. Um, and then I added my little black sandals, little stripy sandals, and the black bag that I just showed you guys. And this is how I would wear it. Um, it's really comfortable, really cute. The com back, the entire back is see-through. So if I wear this, I probably would have to wear um, boob tape if I don't want to show any bra in the back. Let me show you. This is something you should keep in mind um, if you're not comfortable showing your back. Um, this will definitely be showing everything in the back. But overall, I do love the style, the sexiness, so the way it drapes around the breast, on the sleeves. You guys know I love a dramatic, sheer, sexy sleeve. So that's the top. I think I'm definitely keeping this one. I'm just going to be wearing boob tape to keep my boobs up so that they don't fall in an awkward uh, space on the dress. And yeah, I'm keeping this one. Let's try on the next item. All right, the next item I got was this black peplum t-shirt from ASOS. I kind of was thinking about a shirt that I can wear comfortably with skinny jeans, um, with pants that are a little bit tighter, even maybe boxer shorts, kind of like, not boxer shorts, what are these called? Biking shorts. Um, so this is the way I styled it. I just did my black little sandals, very, um, Instagram whole look just like a big t-shirt with some biker shorts Sandals and that's it. The t-shirt is extremely comfortable. I could size down if I wanted. I'm comfortable with this size um, For like this is definitely something that I'm thinking about for life during quarantine You know, like I definitely want to find something that's comfortable t-shirt works. The arm space is perfect I'm not even wearing bra. You can't really see much. So I love that. It's gonna be like an easy um, lazy day look so really like the t-shirt here's the price the size that I'm wearing and let's try on the next item the top that I'm about to show you is definitely something that looks great online but not it does not translate on a fat body let me show you so I saw it on the site just like this it looks gorgeous on my friend here however on my body it's just awkward and boxy there's a huge gap here um, it doesn't make sense it literally needs to be refitted. This is something that I would have to invest in and take to the tailor to have it be taken in in the chest, in the back, in the neck, everywhere. So I'm definitely not keeping this one, but it's a gorgeous look. I thought I was gonna wear this with like my black pants from Target that I love wearing all the time. You guys always see in my vlogs, um, but I definitely think it it is not gonna be for me. By the way, the sizing is just about right here around the belly, so I would definitely need to wear this size just adjusted around the breast and the arms. So not something that I wanna invest in. So it's going back home. Okay, so I think I found an item that I completely love and it's this denim jacket dress situation. So this is kind of, the way I'm wearing it right now is almost like a top dress. And I just added some biker shorts uh, and my black little sandals, still wearing those added some cool little sunglasses and it makes a statement i feel like it's such a cute um denim situation i can also wear this as a jacket um 
Am I freaking out? Is it just me and my brains? But is this the cutest thing ever? Definitely need to steam it. I just got it out the back, but still a very cute piece. What do you guys think? Is this something that I should keep or am I saying goodbye to this one like all the other, all the other items over there? What do you guys think? Girlfriend, what do you think? Do you like this one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's so excited about this one too. The last and final item is this green blazer uh, jacket situation. And I literally was so in love with this because I thought it was going to be perfect, but it literally looks, if I size, it looks big and small at the same time. That's magic, magic. I don't know how they did that. It's too small on the arms, but it's yet too big on the body. It literally feels like what they did was take the design for a skinny girl and then just made it bigger thinking that that's the way fat bodies work, but it doesn't work like that. Um, but look, the shoulder pads are literally by my ears. So we have an issue. We have an issue here and it's not working for me. Not a great haul, not a great haul because a lot of the things that I liked didn't come through. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this blazer situation? Look at me. That's pretty much everything that was in the haul um, in my little purchase. I am so confused by the things that I have picked. I don't know if I'm losing it, if I'm picking just items that I know aren't gonna work and I'm just buying it to buy because I've lost that shopping mentality since I haven't shopped in such a long time. Anyways, point being that I don't know what to take, what to leave, what to return, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys like seeing little hauls in between a vlog like today. Um, I'm also going to do my nails in a little bit, so I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. And then we're going to be doing dinner later on. But right now, I got to pick up that mess that I just made because I wanted to show you guys everything that I had on, that I had gotten. So please let me know which ones I should keep. I don't know. I can't decide. I feel like I'm going to end up returning everything. So let me know. I've been stalling and I haven't picked that mess up yet, but I will. However, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little uh, plant tour because we're watering them and we're cleaning them up. My girlfriend just noticed that the calla lilies that we have by the mirror have some bugs in it. And based on what we read online, the best way to clean it is a little bit of water and soap and then just spray on it and wipe it off, right? Uh, no, don't, yeah. I don't even think you need to wipe it off. So just spray on it. I'm just gonna show you that process of what I'm doing. Um, actually, my girlfriend is correcting me. Um, this isn't something she found online. Because I, I think I read it online, but I, yeah. maybe I got confused and it's actually something you told me. So, it's definitely online. But I remember also, like, when I lived at my parents' house, our um, drainage system wasn't working. And we didn't have the money to fix it. So, what my mom would do is, like, on the sink, she would put, like, a giant bowl or something. And when she would wash the dishes, that like, if they were like, if the dishwater, when she would wash the dishes, if the dishwater was still pretty clean and it was just like mostly water and soap, she would throw out that uh, soap, soapy water into the plants and it would serve as a natural fertilizer. So like she would water the plant and fertilize them with just soapy water and they okay. would grow. Let's give that a try. All right, guys, I'm down here by the calla lilies. They were doing great, but um, as my girlfriend was down here on the floor, she noticed some bugs. I don't really see them. Look in, like, really closely. They're, like, in the middle. I can't see them, but I don't really have the best eyesight, so I'm just going to um, spray them with this. Right in the roots, right? Like, closer to this area? Mm -hmm. No, not lejos, not tan cerca, just to get it overall and like on the stems. Like that? Yeah. On the stems, wherever you see the, the little books. Hold on, let me get a better view. We're going to wipe it down once we're done spraying it all over it. Oh, one got caught over here. Sorry. You gotta be very careful with these babies. I'm turning it around so that I get every angle and every bug. And then I think I'm gonna put it against the mirror so that it stands up a little bit. 